Good morning, dear students. This is Pul Kumari from Sri Vishishta Vidyalaya, and today we are going to learn lesson number one, globes and maps, and lesson number two, locating places. Now let's see what are the topics we are going to cover here. We are going to cover globe, maps, language of a map, atlas, directions, scale. latitude longitude and grid so let's start you know students in ancient time people believed that the earth was flat and they would fall off from its surface if they travel too long right so they avoid to travel so long in the modern era satellite images of the earth proved that the shape of earth is like an orange or a square we can comprehend the shape of the earth with the help of a globe and here in this picture you can see the globe now let's see what is a globe a globe is a model of earth which gives fairly accurate idea about the earth right on a globe we can see the shape and location of the continents and seas look at this these are the continents and the blue color shows ocean seas right and these are continents that we can see on the globe now here at a time we can see only a half of the globe if we want to see the other half we have to rotate it now students you know there are some limitations of globe that is a globe does not give detailed information a globe is difficult to carry because it occupies a lot of space and is heavy right a specific area also cannot be enlarged on a globe suppose if i want to draw a map of gujarat on the globe that i cannot do right now let's talk about the next topic and here we are going to talk about a map now let's see what is map the first thing is map is a two dimensional representation of the earth on a flat surface this is the first thing now we can draw maps of continents countries states cities and neighborhood even the smallest area can also be enlarged and be shown on a map suppose if i want to show the map of gujarat yes of course i can go if i want to draw a map of surat of course i can go for it right so even small area can be drawn on a map we can draw a map to indicate different things also like mountains rivers population crops wildlife forest minerals right now map has also its own limitation that is the earth spherical uh, the earth shape is spherical right so that cannot cannot be shown accurately on a flat surface this is the first limitation and the second is map distort the shape and the size of the landform as we are uh, showing the areas on a flat surface right now let's move towards the next topic and here we are going to talk about atlas what is atlas a book of maps is called an atlas it contains a large variety 
of maps such as yes such as physical map that shows physical features of a, a region like mountains rivers etc then we have political map that shows the borders of different countries and states then we have road map that shows the network of roads in a city or a country we also use other maps like those uh, depicts the network of railways and airways right so we have large variety of maps that we can find in atlas now let's move ahead here we are going to talk about directions directions are an important part of map reading basically we have four major directions they are north south then we have east and west look at this this is east west north and south right maps are drawn in such a way that the north is always at the top if we have seen yes students the south always at the bottom and the east is always at the right side and the west always at the left side in that way we just draw the maps now let's talk about sub directions here we have northeast that comes between north and east then we have southeast that comes between south and east then we have southwest that comes between south and west and then we have northwest that comes between north and west now let's talk about scale what is scale c students we cannot show the actual size of the earth on a map right so what we do we just use scales in map maps are drawn according to a scale right now what is exactly it is, what exactly it is maps are the ratio sorry scales are the ratio between the distance of any two places on the ground and the distance of the same to same two places on the map that is what known as scale of a map while making map scale plays an important role right now let's talk about the next concept and here we are going to cover the topics that comes under lesson number 2 locating places and here we are going to talk first about latitude there are two types of imaginary lines that we draw on a globe that we can see on a globe the first is latitude and the second is longitude now first we are going to talk about latitude what is latitude look at the picture students latitude an imaginary line that drawn half way between north pole and south pole that is called the equator here you can see the line of equator yes it is drawn half way between the north pole and the south pole right it is the longest latitude the part of the earth which lies to the north that means this area is known as northern hemisphere and the part that lies toward the south that means this area this is known as southern hemisphere right students the imaginary lines drawn parallel to the equator and they are known as parallels of latitude that means these are known as 
latitudes, right? Here you can see different lines, right? Which are drawn parallel to equator and these are known as parallels of latitudes, right? Now here I want to tell you the important parallels of latitude. Here you can see uh, the first I want to talk about equator. Yes, here you can see the important parallels that we talk about. The first is uh, equator that shows 0 degree and then we have tropical cancer that shows 23 and a half degree north. Then we have arctic circle that shows on 66 and a half degree north, right? And here in southern hemisphere we have tropical cancer Capricorn that shows 23 and a half degree south and then we have Antarctic circle that shows 66 and a half degree south. These are the important parallels of latitude. Now we are going to talk about the next point and here we are going to cover longitude. Now what is longitude? Yes, now look at this, what are longitudes? The imaginary lines joining the North Pole and the South Pole are called lines of longitude or meridian. Look at this. These lines are known as, this kind of vertical lines we can say, are known as lines of longitudes right they are also known as meridians all these lines are of same length okay the maximum distance between the two lines of the longitude is at the equator here here is the equator and here we can find the maximum distance between two lines of longitudes right the meridian of longitude that passes through Greenwich near London is taken as zero degree. Okay, that the longitude that pass, passes through Greenwich that is taken as the zero degree longitude and this line is called as prime meridian. Right? Now students, I just want to tell you uh, the area between zero to 180 degree towards the east that means here I want to tell you east of the prime meridian is known as eastern hemisphere and is marked as east and the area between 0 degree to 180 degree towards the west of the prime meridian is known as western hemisphere. Alright, so in that way they are marked as E or W, right? The meridian of 180 degree east and 180 degree west is the same line and that line is known as international date line, right? Now let's talk about the next topic and here we are going to talk about greed. Let's see what is greed. Look at the picture. Here we can see the network of long, uh, longitude, longitude and latitude. Look at this. These are the networks of longitude and latitude. Right? On a globe. And this network is known as grid. Right? The point at which a longitude, uh, the point at which a latitude and a longitude cross help us to cross help us to locate a place right uh, for example i just want to tell you for example uh, let's say delhi that is located at the point of 28 degree north so we will find where is 20, uh, where is 23 28 degree north latitude and then we will take the another uh, 
that is longitude that's let's say 77 degree east and then we'll find out where this longitude and latitude meet with each other and that location is known as the the exact location of delhi right one more example i want to uh, uh, give let's say about surat we want to find the uh, location of surat on this grid uh, okay so let's say latitude that is uh, right that is 15 degree north right and uh, longitude is 45 degree east okay so this is east right 45 degree east i said right so this is eastern side hai na this is eastern side 45 degree that means this one all right and then i said 15 degree latitude that means 15 degree is this so i will check 15 degree and 45 degree where the meet this is the location so that means this is the exact location of surat right grid helps a lot to find the exact location of a particular place so this is all about lesson number 1 and lesson number 2 i hope this uh, video is quite informative for you till the time thank you and keep learning stay safe